Basar, boy kinesa chametz, lo oraner. The night of the 14th, we're going to go to great length to, to learn why the word or refers to the night. But in the, in the end, the Gemara is going to end up that or la barsa means the night of the 14th. Boy kinesa chametz, lo oraner. You do bedikas chametz with candle. Rashi says, Shlo yavar lo bavay yerovah yimotze. Right, you got to get rid of all the chametz. If you own chametz on Pesach, you're over by your rod, by your matze, even if you don't eat it. You cannot have chametz in your position, position uh, in your possession. You might come to see it, you might come to have it. A place that you don't normally bring chametz doesn't require bedika. Uvame omru, what's an example? Beishrus bermartev. The first two rows of the wine cellar is Mokam Shemachdis and Bochametz. Sometimes the waiter would go down to the wine cellar. He's got a piece of Chametz in his hand. He's looking for the right vintage to bring to his uh, balabayas. So the first two rows, like they would go in. They wouldn't go deeper than the first two. So therefore, you didn't have to check further than the first two rows. He says it's the whole, I guess, the whole frontage of the wine cellar. The Gemara will explain what this machloek has been with Beishamay Beishamay. So my or, says the Gemara. Ravuna Omer Nagi. Ravuna says or means light, means daytime. Ravuna Omer Lele. And Rav Yudah says it means, no, the night of the 14th. Kasal Kadayit, if we would think, the man the one who says that it's daytime, means Nagi Mamish, means Mamish the daytime. And one who says night means night. Meisve. I'll ask you a question, Rab Yehuda. It says, Habok or Or, this was by Yosef and his brothers. When the morning came, the, his brothers were sent. So Alma or Yimamu, how can you say or means the night? Here it's clear that or means the day. So the Gemara says, Meek Siv Ha or Boiker. It doesn't say Ha or Boiker, it says Ha Boiker or. It's Kamanda Omar Safra Nar. Like the, the morning turns daytime. Look at Ravun Amarab. Damir Amarab, Lo'olam Yikanis Adam Bechitov. A person should always travel Bechitov, because it says, Vayarlo Kimesa Or Kitov. And the, the Or is, is in the daytime. Vyetze Bechitov. And the person should, should come in before it's nighttime, you know, while it's still day. He should and he should leave on his travels when it's day. I'll ask you another kasha, Rav Yehuda, who says or means night. Meisve, uch or boker yizra chashemesh alma or yimamalu. Again, from the pasuk it seems a raya that or means day. So, miksiv or boker, it says uch or boker. The the uch or b'achi karma uch or boker v'alamazeh as in the morning, when it becomes daytime, we have light. Is it's like uh, the sun coming up, but Sadiq in Olam Abba. But it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not a. It doesn't end up in a kasha Rav Yehuda. But I'll ask another kasha Rav Yehuda. Meisvei, vaikra lokim la or yom. Well, alma or yomamu. How can Rav Yehuda say or means night? Or la barsa means the night of the fourteenth. But yikralo kim la or yom seems to reject that. So what says Rachi Kamar? Le meir uba karo yom. As it's becoming light, that was called yom. 
Elameata, the Lachoshech Karalaila, is it Lamachich Ubo Karalaila? So that means only like, for example, sunset, as it starts getting dark. That's when you're going to call Laila Vakaimalan, I'd say Zakachavim Yamamahu. We hold that night, for example, tonight, Shabbos, did not end until Tzesa Koychavi. So it's not just the, the process of becoming dark, can you call Laila? Elachi Kamer. Kaye Rachman Elonahoyra. Hashem wanted light. Ufog de HaMitzvah Sudi Yorama. And he gave sort of the shimush of light to day, to, to, like the officer of light is daytime. Okay, so up until now, we've been asking kashas on Rav Yehuda, but Rav Yehuda said that or, or la barsa means the morning of the 14th. We'll ask you a kasha, beisve. Hallelujah, kol koichve or. It seems to be that stars give off light, alma or or two. We have stars at night. So that's a ride that or means night. Hachikama. Halalu kokochovim amiri. That means stars that give off light are praising Hashem. It has nothing to do with though day or night. Elameata, if you're going to learn that way, kokochovim amiri, who do boy shabhu? So what? Only stars that give off light praise Hashem. But she ain't amiri, loy boy shabuchi. But those that don't, don't praise. All the hosts, heavenly hosts, praise Hashem, even those that don't may hear. So, the Kiddush that we're being taught here is the Or Kachavim Nami Or Hu. That starlight halachically is light. Now, why, how would that be useful to us? Somebody takes a vow that I'm not going to benefit from light. Tanya annoyed him in a or someone who takes such a vow, Osir Boarin Shokochovim. He's also Osir to benefit from starlight. I'll ask you, Mace, I'll ask you another Kashan Rav Yuda. It says, La or Yakum Rodseya, Yikotel Oni the Evion, Uvalaila Ie Chagana. A murderer kills the poor people, and at night he's like a Ghana. Now, so if the end of the pasuk seems to suggest that at night he's going to be a ganav, then or that was used in the pasuk is the opposite, which alma or yamamu. So when it says or la it means the morning of the fourteenth, not at night. So the says also machikamar. This is a different. This is a drasha for a halacha. For example. Hababa Machteris. If a thief is tunneling into your house, that's called a Baba Machteris, you're allowed to kill him. Because he is gonna, if he's coming in by tunnel, it's clear that he's coming to kill you. And therefore you have the right, he, you can kill him like a road day. However, there's a gedorim. If you know for sure that he's coming in because he wants to kill people, then then you can kill him. However, but if, if it's unclear, if it's like night, it's unclear to you. It's not clear like day that he's coming in to kill. Then you have to treat him just like a like a ganav, and you're not allowed to kill him. And in fact, if you kill him, you'd be considered a rotzeach yourself. Basically, again, this is going to cash on Rav Yehuda, who holds that or means night. That means the starlight should be dimmed. And you, and you shouldn't see sort of the beginning light of the morning. Now, that means the night wants light, or it's sort of, it wants the daytime. Alma or Yamamu. So here the reference, 
the, the use of the word or seems to be referring that or means day. So no, or doesn't mean day, it means light. This is a this is a post in EU. Possum Milate who the Koliat lay eel of Mazale. Eov is sort of cursing his what's happened to him. Ye Rava to be the will of Hashem, the lits of the lits of the lit let's see fey hak kavra lo arav lo lishkache. That means it's referring to himself uh, that he should you know wait for light, but not uh, not not really achieve it. But it's not referring to day. Mesve, I'll ask you another kasha on the concept that or refers to night. Va'omar achoshek yishufeni, v'layla or ba'adeni. It means at night, the, the eventually or will come, alma or yamamu. Again, it seems to refer that or refers to the daytime. And this is a pasuk in Tehillim. So hasam hachi karmen davi. Ani amarti achoshek yishufeni lalem haba. I thought that I would have only darkness no lalem haba. Shu domi liyom. Achshav oil mazeh. Shu domi lalayla or badeni. I, by Hashem rescuing me from all my troubles, that what I thought was night really is now filled with light. Okay. Now we're going to ask some kashas on Rav Huna who said that or refers to the day, not night. Meisve. Rav Yudah Oimer, from our mission, Boitkin Orla Barsar, Uva Arbasar Shachris, means, Rav Yudah says you check a number of times. You check the night of the 14th, and then you check the 14th in the morning, and then Uvishasa beer, and you check again when you burn it. Now, Midikom Rav Yudah Boitkin Or Arbasar, and then Uva Arbasar Shachris, Alma or or to who? That seems to be a proof that or means the night of the 14th. Shema mina. The Gemara now seems to rely on this source that or la basar means the night of the 14th. Mesve, it, it, even though it, it seems to have gotten a proof that it can accept, it continues to ask kashas on the concept of Ravuna which Ravuna said that or means the day. From what time of the day is it prohibited to do work on the 14th? We're going to see there were minhagim in different locations where people did not work on the 14th of Nisa. But when? From the time of or. Rav Yudah Oimer, now here, Mishasa Or is going to seem to imply from the night of the 14th, because the next statement, Rav Yudah Oimer, Mishasa Netzachama, which is the sunrise. Omele Rav Yudah Oimer, Rav Yudah Well, Yezer ben Yaakov says the Isra Malacha starts from the night before. Because Vayer, Vayivoker, every, every day starts from the night before. So he says, and where do we see Shemek Tzatzo Asr Kasiyas Malacha? Where do we see that, uh, that there's Isra Malacha on a day that only starts in the morning? For example, our, when we have Shabbos, Yom Tif, Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah, Isra Malacha starts from the night before. Where, where do you see a precedence that Isra Malacha can start from the morning. Right? What do you mean? I'll prove it to you from the 14th day of Nisan. Right? You're, all, you're allowed to eat chametz until the midaraisa, until, until noontime, until the sixth hour. Chachamim make Xeris, where we'll see you don't need until the fourth hour, Mamish. But we see the precedence that the Isser is only part of the day. So he says, just like Isser Chomets is only part of the day, 
So Isra Malach is only part of the day. But now the Gemara goes to the proof regarding the word or. It's clear again that Rav Yosef ben Yaakov was referring to or referring to the night before. Mor says, lo, my or, omer ha-shachar. Mor says, from this price, so you don't have a, a definitive proof because or here could refer to Alois ha-shachar, which is like an hour and 50 minutes before Nates, that uh, he holds Alois ha-shachar and the other man held Nates. And, that, and there's no riot from here that or referred to the night before. Because if you're going to say that Ur means Alosa Shachar, then even Rabbi Yazar ben Yaakov would, uh, would, would understand that he was permitting a work up, you know, the whole night from the night until Amr Shachar. So he would also know that there was an example of a day that's part, that you can work part of the day and not. So the Gemara says, no, Ochi come. So this is what Rabbi Yazar ben Yaakov really wanted to say. We have examples in Chachamim where they, dif- where they differentiate between the night and the day. And where do we see it classically? By, ty- by Tainus, for example, Tainus Tzibor, except for Tishabov, where the Tainus starts in the morning, right? The Tanya, Gabi Tainus Tzibor, Ad Mosai Oichel V'Shoi Se'ad Sheyal Amod HaShachar. Ad Amod HaShachar, Dibar Eliezer Ben Yaakov. Rav Shimon Oimer, no, Ad Kreis HaGever, which is uh, a later period, when the rooster crows. So I have sources to differentiate between day and night. Ela de Didcha. But according to you, where do you see that the Chachamim divide the day into, you know, part of the day you can work, part of the day you can't work. Night and day, we can different, I have a Raya, but that the day itself that you could work till, let's say, midday from, from Alois to midday, and you can't work midday, there's no example for that. So, and the Gemara now will say, this is what Rav Yudah means to answer. Amrlai, what do you mean? We have examples where even a day can be divided. We see that uh, 14th of Nisan, part of the day you can eat chametz, part you can't. So shop your karmel, Rabbi Rabbi Yezer. That's that seems to be a good response uh, from Rabbi Yehuda to, to Rabbi Yezer. So hacha karmel, Rabbi Yezer. I mean, lachano melachad rabbanon. I was asking, where do you see that the Chachamim prohibited you from doing Malacha? The Atamatli Chamez Doraisa? And you bring me a, a ride because of Chamez uh, eating Chamez? The Ad Achaz Rachmana. The Torah says because of the word Ach, right? Oh, we're going to learn that because it says Ach, that the eating of Chamez can go until the, half the day. But the Torah can do that. But where do you see that the Chachamim can do that about Israel Malacha? I, what is what is Rav Yudah say for Idich? Shows to Rabbana. Because we have the Chachamim, the Midaraisa, you can eat until the sixth hour of the day. But the Chachamim say you can't eat already from the fourth hour of the day. So even Rabbanon can differentiate some parts of the day to do this and some parts of the day to do that. So he has a Raya. So how would Rabbi Ezer respond, the Idich? That's just a gzeira to keep us away from a derisa, but it's not, it, it, it's not though that uh, 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 something that has nothing to do with derisa, a specific rabbinic law like Kriyasa Megillah or Natilas Yadayin or Erevin. These are not harchakas to derisa. They are fundamental rabbinic enactments, which is the more seems to see this enactment of not working on. Erev Pesach was a rabbinic enactment, not as a harchaka to do a deraisa, and that's how he would respond. The Gemara is going to give another kasha on the concept that where Ravuna learned that or means daytime. Meisve, ein masi and masuos, ella ala choydes shenirivizmanu lekatsha. So, 
of course, the lunar cycle um, is like 29 and a half days. So months are either 29 day months or 30 day months. So the way it was at the time of Chazal, on the 30th day, we waited. Uh, if Adim came in the, let's say the morning of the 30th and said that last night, right, the evening of the 29th, they had seen the new moon. So in Beisden, they were Makadish the Chodesh. And that night, right, the night of the 30th, they would light bonfires. And that's how they would spread the word that the previous month was only a 29 day month. And this day 30 was Rosh Chodesh. That's called Chodesh Pizmanoi. Now, if no Adim came, so telling that the night before, right, the 29th day going into the 30th night, they didn't see anything. So then the previous month was a 30 day month and to this 30th day was not Rosh Chodesh and they did not light bonfires. So everybody knew by not seeing bonfires that the next day was Rosh Chodesh and the previous month was a 30th day month. So the Amosai, so the Amosai Masi and Masus, Lo'or Iburo, which means the night after the day, which we, we, we said, the, the Adim come on the 30th day, we, we light it that night, Alma or Urtuhu. So we see Ur means the night. Shmamino. So again, we have another good proof regarding Or, that Or La Barsa means the night of the 14th. So we have a number of good proofs that Or means the night, but the Gemara is still fighting and fighting a Kash on Rav Yehuda. Remember, Rav Yehuda said Or means night. Meisvei. So, korbonois were shechted in the daytime. You can't shecht a korban at night. And the zrika sadam had to be done in the daytime. You couldn't do zrika sadam at night either. However, if you had the innards or the avor mupedorm of an ola, let's say the limbs, so they, they could be burnt all night. So hayo I mean call I might call him beach la oira toun kidish dam raglain here la oira means in the morning he needed kidish dam right even though he worked all night once the morning comes it's like a new trigger he has to wash his hands again dibri rabbi this seems to be a raya that or means daytime so the Gemara says, Oira is shiny, but this is not the use of the word or. It's the use of the word Oira. So that's not a kash. Okay, we'll stop here. Uh, so, good uh, introduction.